Now, one of the questions that I get a lot from friends, family members, or you guys in the comment section is what camera should I buy? Now, for the past few years, my answer has honestly been the same thing, and that's that cameras are so good nowadays that it's hard to pick a bad one. Look at all these crazy birds. They're like flying everywhere. This one's like coming to me. What are you doing? I think it thinks that I have some food or something. So I'm sure you're tired of hearing this because you probably heard it a million times from all types of creators, but if all cameras are good, then what is the determining factor between which camera you should buy? Because today there's so many different cameras, there's so many different price ranges that are amazing. So what I tell people is honestly, the best camera is what you have available to you. And most of the time, if you're just now getting started and you're buying your first camera, I tell people the best camera for you is your smartphone. Dude, look at this bird. It just flew away, wasn't able to capture it. Which brings me to today's video. Today we have some products from Sandmark, which are some accessories to your smartphone to help make the image quality coming out of this device be a lot more premium. So we have the film rig, we have the iPhone case, and then we also have an anamorphic filter. I wanna go around this park see what I can get out of my iPhone so that you guys can see the image quality coming directly out of the phones in your pockets nowadays. So one of the things a lot of people may be interested in doing when using their phone um, as a camera is record videos of themselves like I'm doing now, so vlogging. Now while I'm not, I'm pretty sure that this rig isn't made for, you know, vlogging, it's more made for cinematic content um, where you wanna shoot a short film with your smartphone or you wanna do some YouTube content. Um, you can do that with the anamorphic lens, but I did wanna throw my wireless microphones on this setup so I can give you guys a test to see how that will look. Now, as you can see in the background, you should see some lines going across the screen from the sun. I'm just gonna move around a little bit to make sure that you guys can see that. That is a good effect that you get from using anamorphic lenses as well as a really wide screen. So just in case you guys don't know about anamorphic, on the top and bottom of this video, I'm not putting black bars. It actually shoots just like you see it. So there's no black bars, it just shoots this wide. And that's the beauty of anamorphic because you get that wide image, you get those, you know, those flares, and you also get some other things like making sure that whatever's in the center of the frame is more in focus, which is really cool for storytelling. Okay, so I am back again. Something very important that I wanted to point out. Luckily, I checked the video back before I left the scene of where we're filming at today to see how it looked. And it's very important that you turn off stabilization whenever you're using anamorphic lenses. Now, the reason for that is because as you can see in the last video, it looked a little bit wobbly and warpy. And that's because the stabilization in the iPhone doesn't know what to do whenever it's using a anamorphic lens. So I'm using an app called Filmic Pro to de-squeeze the image. So if you guys aren't familiar again with anamorphic, you get a squeezed almost like four by three image and you have to de-squeeze it to get this wide image like what you see now. So I use Filmic Pro for that because it does it real time so that I can see exactly what my image is gonna look like. But make sure that you follow the directions that I just showed you on screen so that you can make sure you don't have stabilization on. All right, so heading back to the studio now to give you guys my final thoughts. One thing I forgot to say is that this video is not sponsored. They did, however, send me these products for free. That being said, I like the case itself that goes on the iPhone, but my phone is wiggling around in it when I was shooting and that makes me very nervous because I don't want my phone to fall out and break. Second, the cage, I feel like it's terrible. Don't like that cage at all. I've definitely seen people make better cages than that. Okay, so let's go back, talk about the image quality, talk about the results coming out of this entire setup. So honestly, I love the images that I was able to get out of the iPhone 14 Pro Max with the anamorphic adapter and the case that I used to actually screw on an anamorphic adapter. Now, speaking of that case and that adapter, 
adapter, you do get some more options for mounting the anamorphic filter on your phone within the case itself. So the anamorphic filter comes with this case, which is really nice to make sure that you keep everything in one place and organize. You also have this clamp here. And what this clamp allows you to do is not need a case. So you can actually put the adapter right on your phone using this clamp. And then you also have, again, this case to keep everything safe as well as this pouch right here as well. Now, unfortunately, like I said before, I really didn't like the film rig. I feel like it's not practical at all. It has no cold shoes. It doesn't really have a lot of mounting options as well. And I've seen a lot better rigs like from Beast Cam. Moment has an awesome one out right now. Um, so this one could definitely use some work. Now, like I said earlier, I was using Filmic Pro to capture the images. If you guys are curious of what settings that I was using, you can see it down below. I was using a dynamic for the color and then I was using the de-squeeze within the settings itself. I'll show you exactly where to find that. So if you click this gear icon over here, you're gonna see hardware. You wanna select hardware scroll down and you want to select 133x because again that's what this um, anamorphic filter is it's a 133x squeeze so you want to select that and basically that's actually going to de-squeeze it within the app for you so that means that when you export the videos they're going to look normal now if you want to de-squeeze in your own editor of choice you need to make sure that you say de-squeeze and preview only but that's how you would do it. And then again, just make sure that you go in there, you go into stabilization and you turn that off to get good results when using anamorphic adapters, or you're gonna have some really weird shaking things going on in your video. The other important thing to know is that on the actual adapter, there is a line. You need to make sure that that line on the adapter lines up with this line on the case itself to make sure that everything is straight because sometimes when you're shooting with an anamorphic adapter you can have the lens slightly tilted it's going to completely mess up your image like completely mess up your image so you want to make sure that those lines are as even as possible so you don't have any weird things going on but yeah overall really love the adapter i can definitely see someone using this on some short film projects or just wanted to get some cinematic things coming out of their phone. Now going back, like I said before, I really do recommend the iPhone, especially if you're using the Pro models as your first video camera. It's affordable, you're able to get great quality out of it, especially if you're using a really powerful app like Filmic Pro and these additional accessories as well. Most of you guys, if you're a beginner and you're gonna be using your phone for video creation, you're not gonna really be looking at this adapter and that's completely fine. They have other adapters on their website as well, other lenses that you can put on your phone, that's what I mean by adapters, that you can use. And I definitely recommend that you use those because for most people who are beginning to record videos on their smartphone device, you're not really gonna even know what an anamorphic filter is for or about. So go on there and check out their wide angles and their telephotos. Those are gonna give you more bokeh. They're also gonna give you the highest quality image at a wider aspect ratio from the highest quality on your cameras because you have like three cameras on the back of these pro models. One of them is way higher quality than the other two. And so the reason why you would want one of these lenses is so that you can get a wide angle but on the highest quality lens on your camera. So you're not losing quality. That's why these lenses are really important and really helpful when it comes to creating content on your mobile device. Now, with that being said, if you guys are interested in getting the most out of your smartphone, I definitely recommend that you check out my Filmic Pro videos right over here.